Hello. Welcome to my nice cooking show. Today well, I'm going to demonstrate my pesto recipe. You take this much cow power, take all the leaves, none of the stalks, and put any of the stalks in. Smash that through your juicer. And then like a big juicy leaf of some kind, I use mustard greens. Next part requires using the the other thing. The one that doesn't look separate. Stand up, this is silly thing. Stand up. Okay. There we go. Quick pop. Get in. Get in, you bugger. Oh, power out. Oh, it's not going in. Oh no, I've done it wrong. So I want all that good stuff in there. I'm using. Um, Juice it in order to minimise oxidation. So the next, but this is going to be a little bit more experimental because previously I did this um, like the seedy component. I did it with the blender. But today I'm just going to take these here sesame seeds, smashing the whole decent whack load of them. Um, system of seeds have been cut open. There we go, it's a good bit of ingredient for the pesto. And what I like about using this machine as well is it's not so hard on my four ear drums. So I'm just going to try for this time to use the here a noise sheet, which is jamming them straight in the pot. And see what happens, I haven't tried that one before. Oh, there we go, it doesn't handle noise sheets, does it? So reverse it. I think I might just have to disassemble. It's under pressure. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to disassemble. So there you go, you learn something new every time when you do something new. So I kind of got them to back up a bit. That's cool. Now I can disassemble now that the pressure's off. So this is a little bit of a troubleshooting exercise as well with the machine. It doesn't have trouble if you just do the same things all the time, but when you try and get experimental, that's when you tend to be more likely to have a bit of a problem. So what I'm going to do instead, because this won't go through because it's dry, it needs to be squishy. So here we go, reset that up. It's too much material. Yeah, this is the way not to do it. Never mind. Now everything's slippery. This is um, pretty interesting, isn't it? How difficult they are to operate sometimes when you get it wrong. If you're just used to using it for one thing, it'll definitely work for this, but you have to do it the right way. So, now we're going to stick something in there that it can handle easily. which is a nice bit of apple.
just to get it all running properly. Take a little bit of more in with the apple. See if it doesn't just go straight through. Add a bit of liquid in there. There we go, that's the way to get your nori through. With something soft. You could probably put it through with carrots as well, but because it's so dry, I quite like the apple because the apple builds up quite a lot of liquid pretty fast. And right now, the stuff that's in there, it's just sitting there soaking and going all smushy. So we stick another bit of apple in. Another bit of, little bit of nori. A little bit. And now there's heaps of liquid in there. I don't know if you can see it properly. Oops. Oops. Keep the liquid. Get that noise going through nicely. Okay. Now I'm going to put a few pumpkin seeds in. This machine will do pumpkin seeds all good because they're quite they break quite easily. It won't do linseeds very good. So linseeds are the ones that I'm gonna to have to buzz on the high speed machine, which makes a horrible racket. That's why I don't like using it much. But if you're putting a bit of apple through with your pumpkin seeds, it comes out real good. Let's see what have we got so far? Yum bowl of stuff. 